he was hungry, and they never imagined helping someone. Oh my God, oh, I mean, Jaden. A neighbor surveillance camera caught this teen on a bicycle stopping by an 85-year-old man's home on 20th Street two weeks ago. The man's son tells me around 9.30 p.m. Tuesday, the same teen knocked on his father's door, asking for a glass of water, then attacked him. When he unlocked the front door and reached his hand out to give him the water, the guy grabbed him outside. He pulled him out of the house and pulled him to the ground. And that's when they started tussling. The man's son says the teen grabbed a metal club and started beating his father. Went in the house to retrieve his gun. He said he couldn't get out the holster. So, couldn't get out the holster. The guy took the gun, took the holster, and asked him, where's the money? So, he said, the money's in the car. The teen rummaged through the man's car, then ran away. While the man was treated in the hospital, the crime didn't stop. When his son returned to his home Wednesday morning, he noticed someone broke into his house. First thing I noticed, the car was gone, and the front door was open. I was like, really? And then I looked, and then the air conditioner was gone out of the window. The thief also stole his father's TV. He believes the same teen that attacked his father is responsible for the burglary. He came prepared to do that. So when he when he came up two weeks ago, he was I really believe he was casing the job. Yeah. yeah. He felt like it was premeditated. Yeah, definitely. He says his father has lived in his home for 62 years, but knowing the teen is still on the streets, his father is moving out. The family says the car that was stolen was a red 1995 Cadillac Deville Concourse with a beige top. They're asking for anyone who has any information about this crime to call JSO. Reporting live from JSO, Corley Field, Channel 4, the local station. Corley, did the man's family say how he's doing physically after being attacked? They said that he is doing okay. He did get a black eye, a rib fracture, injuries to his head, and several scratches. But despite that, he is doing well. All right, Corley Field reporting live for us tonight.